Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fight Night Live on TNT Sports from the O2 Arena in London, England. It is all being brought to you by Frank Warren on behalf of Queensberry Promotions, along with their great sponsors, 32 Red and Unibet. We get things started with four rounds scheduled, and it is a international super lightweight contest. Our timekeeper is Brett Bowles, and when the bell rings, our referee in charge and scoring this contest will be Sean McAvoy. Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the red corner, he comes to the ring wearing white with red and green and weighed in officially at 9 stone, 13 pounds. Coming to us from Sofia, Bulgaria, he has 26 professional bouts to his credit. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Georgie Babyface the Leech Call. And his opponent across the ring, fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He comes to the ring wearing a white with gold and weighed in the same as his opponent, nine stone, 13 pounds. Hailing from Surrey, England, he is undefeated with one win. That one win comes by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Prince Adam Hamid! Okay, last four round contest. Give it clean all time, keep some tight all time. Slush gloves, here we go. Here we go then, and the, the message clear from Adam Hammond about where he stands on the, the legacy of his family. He said, listen, I Seven believe in myself, I believe in my ability, and now this is just a stepping stone to where I want to get to, but following on in such uh, an illustrious father's footsteps, not going to be easy, Carl. No, it's not going to be easy, the weight of the world on the kid's shoulders, but he looks like he's taking it in a stride, and he's already started here pretty, pretty fast on the front foot on the front foot looking for what he said he's always looking for when he gets in the ring i'm always coming for the ko always looking for something spectacular but but each cop only 23 it may look like he's got a baby face but he's been around a lot 26 fights in total in that sh uh, short period of time that he's been a professional and he's a regular on these shores a 17th fight here, but he has yet to win one. You can just see Hamid here, just, just using his job as a range finder. It's looked pretty spiteful, though. He, he's putting it in, and Vlichkov has got his hands nice and high, just trying to block them shots, but some have got through, and some he's been able to defend. Already we have... Uh... Settled into a comfortable routine here for Hamad. The target not moving an awful lot in, in front of him, but it's all about poise and control. Doesn't want to get too gung-ho in these uh, opening seconds here. Th this will be Vilichkov's style the whole fight. He'll keep his hands high. He'll try not to get nailed too clean. He probably not throw a lot himself, so it's important for Adam Hamid to find ways they, they open him up. Maybe a few more counters just to try and open and then double attacks as well. I think it'll work against this kid. Well, let's get this from the leech cop tying him up on the uh, on the inside. But again, that jab trying to force his way through, opening up there for the left hand to just skim off the side of his head. Just tried to land the uppercut there. That was a good jab to the body, but I think the uppercut's going to be a shot that can be useful for him in this fight, just with the size of Leechkov. Coming in, squat, stocky, head down, chin tucked nice and low. I think the uppercut could be a shot that, that finds the target. 
plenty of self-assurance then in this opening round as we come inside the final half minute of the first round here, scheduled for four. But again, digging those uh, hooks into the body again, forcing Averichkov to cover up once more. End of the first round and uh, comfortably in the back for Adam Hallett. And a good opening round from Adam Hamid, Carl. Yeah, he'll be happy with that. I'm just trying to listen in to what Jimmy Burr and Nathan Travis are saying in the corner. I think they'll be very happy with that, but I, I, I kind of got the impression they, they want them to try and open, open up a little bit, which, again, I think is going to be difficult. You've got a journeyman who just wants to survive. That's his, He's not trying to win this fight, this kid. He just wants to survive. The uh, survival instinct, the story of, uh, of a journeyman. You expect to see him for years to come, Village Cop. But here, this is just a bit of target practice at the moment for Hamid. Again, the jab getting through as Village Cop's hands just drop. He was in there with that razor sharp jab. He's looking really neat, nice and tidy. I think his shots as well are nice and flashy. He stands, you know, his stance is pretty pretty nice for a novice boxer I think there's the boys in the corner I know Jimmy Moore and, and Nigel Travis very very well and they're very happy with what they've been seeing in the gym obviously there's a lot more to improve on but he looks to be well on his journey I'll tell you one thing I've noticed Tim he's, he's not like his dad there's not there's, there's no flashness about the kid he's he looks respectful he's keeping his hands reasonably high uh, a very different style to his father. Yeah, there is a discipline, there is an authority in this performance from Adam Hammond so far. The jab to the body has been a, quite an effective shot here. It's a, 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 considering Hammond is a lot taller. It's not normally, or typically anyway, a shot that you see the taller fighter through, but it's been working well here for Hamid. Just looking to redden up a little bit around the uh, faces, village golfers. Hamid again just goes on the hunt. The other guy tried to get to just bludgeon his way through his defense. It's good experience as well, isn't it, Carl? Because you need to get rounds in at this early stage of his career. There's yeah. no point in just going in and blowing out no, opponents within no. 30 seconds of the Absolutely. first round. Absolutely. And, and look, he's, he hasn't had much amateur experience. I think he's been doing a lot of good work and a lot of good rounds in the gym, which is where he will really be improving. Um, but he's got a, an opponent here who's reasonably tough. And I think that I think that he's looking good. The boys, the boys will be reasonably happy with what they've seen so far, I think. And there is plenty of target there for Berlichkov if he decides he wants to introduce a little bit of adventure into his performance here, as opposed to just focusing on survival. And again, another comfortable round for Adam Hammond. Well, Conor McGregor, no less, was uh, quick to offer praise last year. I'm going to show this to my son, he said, Conor Jr. And, uh, this is the son of the man who inspired me to become who I became. And now he said he's uh, leading the way of his father's legacy. So he's, uh, he's got a fan in Conor McGregor. Yeah, just listening in between the rounds there to what the instructions were from Jimmy, Jimmy Moore. They, they want to kind of pick up the pace a little bit more, and he's already started being a, a, a bit more aggressive. But he's comfortable. He looks to be enjoying himself.
Again, you can see as he as he comes in, the arms are going in that in almost like that, that gunslinger mode. They're down there, and he's trying to tempt maybe Belichkov to have a go at him so as he can land on the counter, just show him uh, what power that he does possess, because yeah. there is a knockout punch there. Yeah, he wants he wants Belichkov to open up a little bit, which he isn't really doing, and and that's that's one of the issues sometimes with journeymen trying to trying to get them to open up and it's a difficult job to do but I think if he looks to double attack you know one attack step back out of range and go straight back in I think that may work nice shot to the body there he landed only 13 punches coming into this round, Velichkov, as opposed to the 40 that had landed on his frame. But again, the pace has just dropped a little. The target isn't moving. And again, switches to the body once more. Yeah, Velichkov, you know, he's... It's a four-round fight. We're, we're three rounds in almost, and the mouth's open a little bit. And I think a lot of that's down to the body work. That that stab to the body that that Hamid has thrown is is something I think that has worked quite well. But his jab's really good, really really good jab, and that's the shot that I think as he develops is really really important as a fighter. If he can perfect that jab, I think he can be a hell of a fighter. The thing is, he is in there for his durability. As we said, he's had 17 fights in the UK, Village Cop. He was only stopped in two of those. Uh, Joe Morgan and Amar Akbar, that was in Telford a year ago. So he's, he's not easy to get out of there. Of the very few victories that he's had throughout the course of this year, one did come uh, earlier on this year, but it was back in Sofia. But it takes it, it takes a certain mentality, doesn't it, to to come and do the job that he's been judged to do. Oh, absolutely! Look, he, he, he comes. He, look, he, he doesn't win many fights, and that never normally happens. But he's a tough kid, and he takes a good shot. And the learning process continues. Another round in the bag for Adam Hamad. Last round. Go. Me and more consistency, yeah? Because I've been triggered, because I've been clever and smart with it. You see, when you went out and you threw that fast two, and you... Well, you here's uh, Dennis McCann just away. arrived in the, the like building, and yeah. that is sure to be some fight, that, against Janet Baluta coming up a little bit later on, was uh, was one of, the, uh, one of the fights of the year, Dennis the Menace. Looking forward to that one, Tim. Well, what, I mean, what a night that was. Yeah, it's unreal. Well, he's been busy enough, 226 punches thrown uh, from Ahmed. Just shows you how difficult he is to land. Only 44 of them have, uh, have landed. Second down, fourth and final round. Here it is, fourth and final round. And again, more of a spring in the step from Adam Hamed as he comes out to try and do something. And as we said, only two people have done, which is maybe stop Belichkov here. I'm just listening to his dad here from ringside, faint with a jab and him with a hook. I think that's a, I would say his dad knows boxing, that's a shot that'll definitely work against this kid. Just keeping his hands a little bit tight around his face, but if you come round the side of that guard, I think he could be quite successful. Belichkov just can't deal with this jab at all. Now, once again, covers up completely, and there's not an awful lot to aim at. Uh, for Hamid tries to get the uppercut to work underneath that defence, but it's blocked. It's only got the master of blocking these shots. There's barely any redness around his face, but it's got considering the number of uh, punches that he has thrown. Yeah, there was an uppercut thrown there, and uh, we said earlier on in the fight that that's a shot that I think will work against Velichkov, but he threw it probably from a little bit too far out. If he gets a little bit closer and, and throws that uppercut, he could have more success. 
Here's a bit of the dad coming out now. So just over a minute to go. And Hamid in control, as he has been for the entire four rounds so far. You talk about how much work he's been doing in the gym, and when you consider that he's basically been out of it for 330 odd days, yeah, he looks good. Yeah, he does. It's been a long time out of the ring, but I think he's been working on a lot of stuff behind the scenes. He's obviously trying to team up with a with a team, and he's finally found the, the, the team and, and Jimmy Moore and Nigel Travis. And like I said already, I think they're very, very impressed with his work ethic and the improvements that he has been making in the gym. Well, it's pretty much about the first shot he's taken for a considerable while there, Hamid. Vanichkov's work is very nearly done for the night. 20 seconds or so left here for him to survive. And it is another opponent that he has taken the full distance. Now the secret of success, be ready for the opportunities when they present, and he's put in a performance of proportion and self-assurance here as Adam Hamed, and it is a comfortable victory that will give him a lot of confidence moving forward. Yeah, look, I think so. Like I said, he's just gelling in with a new team. I think the boys will be very happy with that. I'm just looking at his dad at ringside. I think his dad will be very happy with it. You know, he won every second of every round against a very game and tough and durable kid. But there's a lot to like about Adam Hamid. I think he's a nice, a nice style on the eye. Um, and I think there's a lot of potential there. There is, uh, as he was asked about him in the, in the build-up in the last couple of weeks, he said, look, he said, my son's his own man. I think he's shown that tonight, just a stepping stone, he said, to where I want to be. So the decision is about to arrive. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of boxing, our referee in charge, Sean McAvoy, scores the contest 40 to 36 for your winner and still undefeated Prince Adam Hamid. Well, he came in the ring to the sound of make this a night to remember, and that is exactly what he has done here. Comfortable victory for Adam Hamed, he can go off and do a bit of celebrating. Well, everyone has to start somewhere. Two fights in, it's quite hard to judge a fighter off two fights, surely, Ant. No, do you know what, though, with um, Adam Hamed then? I was impressed in the sense of I didn't expect his skill set to be as good as that. I didn't expect him to look as comfortable in there as what he did. And listen, for Lichkov, yeah, he might not have a great record, but I've seen him in with some very good prospects. And that's what he does. He tucks up, he's very durable. And it, no, I thought Adam Ahmed looked a decent pro uh, prospect. Mm. I think he's got, he's got to have a bit of maturing to do. The power will come with that. But all in all, no, a very satisfying performance from him. Fabio, he's got big shoes to fill, hasn't he? When your dad is as iconic in the boxing world as who he is, the pressure's always slightly, slightly higher than perhaps if it was just your second fight without your dad being Prince Nassim Hamid. Yeah, of course. Like, that much goes without saying. But I think... Him and his dad have both said the same thing. He said, look, I'm my own man. I'm not trying to be my dad. And his dad has said, look, that's my son. And obviously, look, having my name gives him a bit of a kick. But I also want him to be his own man in boxing as well. So it's, it's fantastic for him to carry that into the fight and just be like, look, I'm not forcing this. I'm not trying to be too much. I'm going to be me. I'm not trying to pull off all the skills and look all flashy like my dad did. I'm going to do my job and learn my trade along the way.